But first, the thing that has so many people talking right now, according to AAA, the price of a gallon of gas in western New York rose 46 cents in just the last week. So that mirrors a national trend that has the average price of gas topping well over $4 a gallon nationwide. We have the first of two reports on this tonight from Two on Your Side's Dave McKinley. From 389.9 at the tax-free Seneca One Stop downtown to up to 50 cents higher than that at other stations around western New York, the prices are soaring with no sign of slowing. We are all feeling the pain at the pump. We wanted to know what those who represent us in the nation's capital are doing about it. Congressman Chris Jacobs, a Republican, put the blame for what's going on squarely on the president and his energy policies, which he says have taken away our energy independence, noting that even before the Russian invasion of Ukraine sent prices skyrocketing further, the price of gas had already gone up 50 percent during Mr. Biden's first year in office. And this is one thing I, I thought uh, I was hoping I'd hear at the State of the Union, a, a course correction. What have you done? Sent a memo, have you uh, sent a message? Yes, have you we tried have sent to messages. Call the White House, have you <laughs> we, done anything? We, I, I'm on several pieces of legislation urging, urging getting back to domestic production. And, you know, I believe in green energy. I think wind and solar has a major pro, uh, profile in the future, but we continue to need oil and gas. And I believe natural gas is a bridge for the next decade or so. Some of us have choices on how to mitigate the rising prices at the pump. This could involve uh, working at home or taking public transit. But there are many in Jacobs District who he says do not have much of a choice here. More about that coming up at 5. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.